all right guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will see how we can get started with c or c plus plus programming in windows computer in order to do that first we have to download and install c c plus plus compiler or toolset and then we have to download and install visual studio code and then we have to set up the visual studio code in order to write and executing c and c plus plus programs now in this video i have explained everything in detail step by step so what you have to do is you have to open up any browser that is installed in your computer i have uh, microsoft edge i'm going to open it up and here in the url bar we will enter the website address as winlips.com and we will open up the website so here we can see that we will get the standalone build for gcc and mingw now here you can uh, read through all these things and understand more about this what we do is we will uh, go down to the download section and here we can find the release versions so we will download under this ucrt runtime and we will download whatever the latest version that is available and we will download it with the posix threads okay so here uh, now we can see that we have the option to download for uh, windows 32 bit operating system and windows 64 bit operating system so depending on the operating system that is installed in your computer you can choose a download option in here now here i will go with the windows 64 bit and zip archive and i will click on this and once i click on that the download will begin we have to wait for this download to finish okay now the download is complete if I take the cursor on this downloaded file, then I can see this folder icon. If I click on that, it will open up the folder where the downloaded files are saved, generally in the downloads folder. And here we can see that this is a zip file that is uh, downloaded. So what we do is we will right click here on this file and we will click on extract all. And we have to select the location where we want to install it so here we will click on this browse and then i will go to this pc and here local disk c drive and here i will uh, extract these files so i will select this c drive and i will click on this select folder just like this and we will check this option which says show extracted files when complete and then we will click on this extract now it will start extracting the files Again, we have to wait for this to complete. Okay, now the extraction is complete. And once the extraction is complete, it will open up the folder where all these files are extracted. If you remember, we have extracted the files in the C drive. So in this C drive, we can see a folder created with the name mingw64. And this is a folder which contains all the extracted files. So now, what we have done is we have uh, downloaded mingw and we have saved those files in the computer but in order to access them from any folder in the file system we have to update the path enrollment variable with the location of the c and c++ compilers and these programs are present inside this mingw64 folder so what we do is we will open up the folder where all the extracted files are present in this case this c drive and this mingw64 folder we will open it up we can see this bin folder in here we will open this up and now here we can see all these programs present for example you can see that we have gcc which is a c compiler uh, g++ which is a c++ compiler all these programs and gdb which is a debugger all these programs are present here so what we have to do is we have to copy the path of this particular location one simple trick that we can do is if we take the cursor on this uh, top navigation section and if we left click here it will highlight the path like this c mingw64 bin folder we will right click and copy this path once we copy this path we can minimize this uh, explorer window and then we will click on the start button and we will search for edit environment variables for your account so we will click on this option it will open up this edit 
environment variables section and here in this user variables section we can find path we will select by clicking on that and then we will click on edit and here we will uh, click on new and then we will paste the path that we have copied just like that and then we will click on ok and then we will click on ok so now in order to check everything is properly installed we will uh, click on the start button search for cmd and we will open up the command prompt and here we will check the version of gcc installed to do that we will type in gcc space minus minus version and now you can see the version of gcc that is installed in this computer similarly we can check g plus plus space minus minus version version of g plus plus that is installed and again uh, we can check the version of uh, gdb that is the debugger so it will be gdb space minus minus version and here we can see the version of gdb so the first thing that we have to do is we have to open up any browser that is installed in our computer i have uh, microsoft edge i'm going to open it up and then in the address bar we will enter the website address as code.visualstudio.com and after that hit the enter button it will open up the visual studio code official website and here we can straight away see the download option for windows that's because i'm browsing this website from the windows operating system this website automatically detects that and it displays the appropriate download option now if you want to download vs code for any other platforms or if you want to have more download options then you can click on this other platforms you will get more download options here we will straight away click on this download for windows now it will take us to this page and the download will begin automatically we will wait for the download to finish okay now the download is complete if i take the cursor on this downloaded file then i can see this download icon if i click on that it will open up the folder where the downloaded files are saved generally in the downloads folder and you guys can see the file here in order to install visual studio code we just have to double click on this file and here i will accept the license agreement and then click on next and here it will display the path where visual studio code will be installed if you want you can make a note of that and then we will click on this next and then next and here we will uh, select some options i want a desktop icon so i will check this and then i want to have the open with code option whenever we right click on a file or a folder and that's why i will check these two options and after that uh, register vs code as the editor for supported files uh, we will uh, check that and also add to path we will check that so after that we will click on next and we will click on this install now it will install visual studio code we just have to wait for this process to finish okay now the installation is complete we can click on this finish it will automatically open up the visual studio code at the same time i will close all the um, folders and the browser now here the visual studio code has been opened and here you can select the theme that you want to use for example i will go with the dark modern and then i'm gonna take my cursor here and then i will scroll down and then i will click on this mark done you know here you can find some options to customize the settings which you can do later if you want here i will click on this mark done and now visual studio code is ready to use now once vs code and c c++ compilers are installed in our computer we can go ahead and we can set up the vs code so the first thing that i do is i will uh, click on the start button search for vs code and i will open it up and here first i will set up a workspace for c or c++ programming in order to do that we will click on this file and then we will go to save workspace as now you can save the workspace wherever you want here i will save it in my desktop and in my desktop i will create a folder and i will call it as c programming and then i will uh, open up this folder 
and inside this C programming folder, I will save the workspace and I will say uh, C workspace. Okay. And then I will save this. And now you can see the workspace is C workspace here. Now the next thing that we do is in this workspace, we will have the folders which will contain the files of a specific project. And here I will create a simple project which will contain a C program which will display hello world text to the screen. And that's why I will add a folder to the workspace. To do that, I will click on this file and then I will go to add folder to workspace. And now I will go to the location where I have saved my workspace. If you remember desktop C programming and here I will create a new folder the folder name which will tell us what type of project it is. So here I will call it as hello and then I will click on this add. So now if I open up this explorer window, we can see the C workspace and we have this hello folder. Now we can go ahead and we can create the files which can contain C or C++ programs. So here I will click on this new file icon and I will create a file with the name hello.c and you guys can see that's that file has been opened here. Now before going ahead and uh, writing a C program, we will install some extensions. So we will uh, click on this extensions tab and here we will search for C, C++ and now we can see some extensions here with the name uh, C, C++ and these extensions are developed by Microsoft. What we do is we will install these two extensions. So click on this install for these two extensions. One is C, C++ which will provide the intelligence debugging and code browsing features. And then we have this uh, C, C++ extension pack. We will install both of these. Now you can see here when we install these extensions, it will install some other extensions also. For example, it is also installing the C, C++ themes extension developed by Microsoft. You don't have to worry about you know, anything. So let them install. Okay. Once these extensions are installed, we will uh, close this extensions tab and we will close the welcome window also. So now we will go ahead and we will create a simple C program. So I will include the stdio.h header file. So it will be stdio.h and then we will have the int main function and this int main function will return a value of zero in the end and this return zero will indicate that the program terminated successfully and then we will have a simple printf statement in here and this statement will display hello world text to the screen. So now we will go to file and we will click on this save. At the same time, you can check this auto save option, which will automatically save your file whenever you make any modifications. So once you have written the program, the next thing is how we can run this. Now, in order to run this file, if we go to the top right section, we can see this run or debug icon. Um, if I click on that, I will see the option to run C or C++ file. If I click on that, it will ask me to select the tool chain. So we will select C, C++, GCC.exe. And once we click on that, uh, the terminal window will be opened here. If I go to the terminal, then we can see the output of the program. So in terminal, we can see hello world, which is the output of the program. Now, one last thing that we do here is we will uh, modify this program to take any input and then uh, we will uh, display that to the screen. Now simply I will create a character array and I'm going to call it as name and I will specify the array size as 15 in here and then we will use the printf function in here and we will ask the user to enter name and once the user will see this message he will enter his name we will use the scanf function and we will uh, read the string using the percentage s format specifier and we will store that in this name array so now in this printf function we will format the output and we will say hello and percentage s here we have to refer the name of the variable or the array which is name 
So what we have done is we have modified this program in order to take the user's name here. And uh, this is a very simple program. Um, you know, we haven't checked for any uh, array overflow or something like that. So now if I go to this top right section, I can see this run C++ file icon. If you don't see that, if you click on this uh, down arrow, you will see this run C++ file. If you click on that, now the program will run and here you can see enter name i will say anil and now it will display the output hello anil so this is how we can set up the vs code in order to write and execute c and c plus plus programs if you like the video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you have anything to say if you face any difficulties then write that in the comment box i'll try to reply and uh, that's it for this video thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video